Eddie. Welcome back to Art Therapy with Jen. Today I'm going to be going through my stash here, y'all. So y'all have seen me um, harvest pages out of the full magazines. Oh, there we go. To use in my collage journals or my magazine collage pages in my art journals. And nine times out of ten, I don't have time to go ahead and cut them up or sort them or whatever so they go in that big folder there and the result is well this <laughs> it's probably about six or eight months worth of just full pages because I keep it moving I just rip them all out if y'all ain't seen any of my harvesting videos I'll put a link somewhere it's one of those I things probably <laughs> but um it's time to go through these. I'm running short on images like for my witchy journal and things like that. So I know I have a few in here. And I thought it would be neat to show y'all how I sort images and everything. <laughs> and also, my computer that I edit um, all my videos on and all that fried <laughs> yesterday. I only had the computer for like six months. And it fried and... Um, I didn't have anything from that week backed up and I had four art videos on there and I was like shoot far so I <laughs> uh, got it being worked on it but it's probably gonna take a couple weeks so I thought this would be a good time to film this and all that good business so let's just get to it I'm gonna quit yakking and let let's get to stacking some images <laughs> this first one here um, I'm going to keep, you'll hear me say that too, this is a, also like a secondary sort because sometimes I go through magazines and rip stuff out and then when I go back through I don't really need it so I recycle it. Uh, this is going to go in my witchy art journal stash. Ooh, this one I really like so that's going to go in my people stash. My categories, oh sorry guys, that's my phone, but my categories are real simple too. I used to have like 15 different categories and they're pretty much the same as my first um, art sorting video that I did, but even simpler. I have like backgrounds, small backgrounds, uh, words, people, and then like objects. And then I'll have folders for specific journals like my art or my witchy journal and stuff like that. Uh, this one's some good texture. So I'm going to keep that. I do like the words too, but I don't like to keep words where the, the background kind of changes. So I just go ahead and cut or rip this apart so that when I'm journaling or making a journal video, when I pull it out, it's already ready to go. So that's going to go in backgrounds. Oh, she's cool. Got this girl right here. So I'm going to keep her. Um, I'm guessing I wanted to keep shared belief. So I'll still keep that. I can probably use that for sure. And I go ahead and cut my words out. I may not do it like exact because I can always touch it up later. But I go ahead and I get that work out of the way so that when I'm making pages, I'm not sitting there having to think about all this other stuff. Okay. Ah, I like this. So we got the visionary. And then we'll keep the advocate. So, I'm also really stressed out, like, to the max this week, just because of stupid professional crap. So, <laughs> one day I'll be able to elaborate on that stuff, but that time is not now. But, um, and this is just a really nice way to do something just kind of mindless but also be getting something done and just keep the mind busy so that is really neat I'm gonna keep this the scientist um, normally I would have one of my shows going on but I 
like talking to y'all too, so it's kind of kind of fun. And I love seeing your all's pages. A couple of y'all have sent me um, collage pages and stuff that you have completed. And oh my goodness, it's wonderful. So now let's just keep our fingers crossed that I don't get interrupted because I'm playing it dangerously, y'all. <laughs> I almost always um, do voiceovers and just because it's just so difficult for me to um, be able to have any type of time where the house is quiet enough or I'm uninterrupted to where I can just film like this. So I'm hoping I got my um, door closed. I let everybody know that I was filming probably for about 20-30 minutes. So fingers crossed y'all. Fingers crossed. But it is what it is. So, definitely keeping her. I think she would be awesome in my witchy journal. Because she's got all the elements going on there. So, I also like doing this when I want to do journaling. But, um, I'm, I need some inspiration. So, that's another thing I like just having this stash around. And I can do that. So I'm just going to leave that. I'll finish cutting her out whenever I use her. That's got me a good head start. And that's just how I do. Like some people, like everybody has a different way that they uh, get inspired or, you know, different catalysts that um, get us started on journal pages. I'm very tactile and visual. So that's why I sort my stuff in so few categories because I'm that person. I'm just going to get in there and dig through with my hands and get a feel for stuff and see it. Oh, I love this. So I'm not sure if I want to keep her background or not, so I'm going to keep it because I can always cut the background out later. I can't put it back on. That's amazing, though. Reminds me of that robot page I did a while back. Like, if I can ever get enough images, like once I finish my witchy journal in like 5,000 years, <laughs> I would really love um, to do like a cyberpunk journal or like maybe dystopian mixed with cyberpunk. I think that would be so much fun. I'm really attracted to those more grungier um, depressing aesthetics I guess you could say um, I've cut out here sweet dreams are made of this all right what was I wanting to save here probably this but I'm not feeling it now so we're just gonna put that in the pile to go let's see see I'm not really feeling anything on here I already got a better picture of her that I've already saved oh I like this purple though so we'll keep that yes yes always check the backs of stuff even after you cut stuff out because sometimes the way you cut it out you get something kind of neat let's see this one, Secret Garden. Okay. I'm going to keep that. Alright, what do we want to keep here? Um, oh, I want to keep this. I like this. This is really cute. Sometimes I get my pages all, all turned around. Keep. We'll keep majestic, and I would sometimes keep this scenery pick here, but I'm gonna tell y'all what. I got some calendars on clearance, like for like five cents years ago, and I bought like 20 of them. I don't know what possessed me, 
but I bought like 20 of them and I have more scenery pictures like that yeah see and that I don't like now that I've cut it out um, I got so many scenery pictures like that so I do not need any more at this time don't need anything on there um, I like this little picture on the corner here that's got some neat texture and it's on gray so I like that um, I also want to keep flower power because why not let's see more scenery <sighs> probably was wanting to keep this marble let's see what it looks like once I do that I'm kind of digging her down there too so let's let's just keep that why not um, so we're gonna keep a dream a little dream I got a lot of words in here hey cool beans they're fast to cut out see I'm cutting them out I'm not being like 100% precise but that's okay it's, it's my journal and I can do what I want <laughs> It's my party. Now I better not sing Lord. I'd be they put me in the YouTube jail. Uh okay, I'm gonna say follow the money. That may be fun for like a spy type looking page. Anything on the back? Nah. So follow the money. Let's see what time are we at, y'all? 12 minutes, honey. I am moving along. Alright. I'm going to save the age of anxiety. Lord, ain't that the truth. And then people make you feel bad for it. But whole nother story. Whole nother day. Alright. I'm going to save this building here. I have a thing about these tall buildings um, in cities and stuff. This looks like it might be Seattle. I don't know. But I grew up in the boonies, so those I'm always attracted to those. I also want to save this thing that says Spire. Because, I don't know. I want to. Okay. Oh, here's me another building. I love using these for backgrounds of like sci-fi or cyberpunky or just whatever. It just, I don't know, to me, I guess where I don't see them every day, um, it, it's just something otherworldly to me, kind of. Um, I don't see anything on there. Lord, there's a cow right there. That's funny. Look at that. That's cow. <laughs> All right. Do something sticky. Okay. I'm going to save Room to Grow. Let's see. And, yeah, I'm going to save these flowers, even though they got words on top of them. I, can, I think I can still work with that. So, yeah, we can do something with that. Y'all believe it or not, there for a while I had so many flower pictures I didn't know what to do with them. And now I'm about out. I kind of like this, which I'm not going to go into all these little minute details. But I'm just going to do that. I think that was, look, actually I may use this here in a bit. I'm really inspired by this one. So this is the first one that's kind of sparked me and it's like, boom! I really like it. Yeah, I like, I like that old dog. He's sad. He's like to his owner, like, really? You gonna buy kale? Where's my bacon strip? So. <laughs> oh, bless his heart. Get that dog a bacon strip. Or get him some real bacon. <laughs> I said bacon. Get him some real bacon. <laughs> oh, I miss my poor little dog. Some of y'all that have been with me a long time, especially back on my um, original channel. 
I had this German Shepherd mix. So, such a good dog. Such a good dog. And he died here about two years ago. So, that was sad. While well, I was at work, of course. Um, yep. It sure would be nice if you could use some like your PTO to take pets to the vet and stuff. That's a whole nother story, whole nother day though. I guess you have to have people that care about animals. I don't know. Whole nother story, whole nother day. <sighs> I ain't had good luck with animals these last two years. I went like 10 years, nothing, then all at once. I really like this, especially with the bouquet. How you say that? The B-O-K-E-H bouquet. <laughs> um, I'm going to say this. Adrenaline is contagious. That sounds like that could be a fun story on down the line. Let's see. Alright, I want to keep, we're pushing the limits and expanding. That sounds something, see in my mind that sounds something like sci-fi. <laughs> so, again, I was a nerd growing up, still a pretty big nerd, but I wasn't like the cool nerd like nowadays. Ooh, I love this, talking about sci-fi, but I wasn't the cool nerd like those y'all are that are my age or older, y'all know if you were on a computer or played a video game or something like nowadays, it's just it's cool. It was not cool. <laughs> now I never had any consoles or anything. Well, this is just nifty. There, she is just oddly unsettling, and I love it. Like what what. Look like she got a trash bag on her head. It's probably some fancy silk or something, but I, I like it. Oh, here's another one. Look at that. I like that too. So, but um, I never had money. I think I've only ever had one um, game console ever, and that was a, what was it? Sega Genesis, maybe? Lord, I don't know. That was never really my thing. That was more my brother's thing. But, um, I was into computers. I was, like, the only one of my friends that knew how to use a computer. And, because my dad and my brothers, they were in that field. So it just came with the territory. And I was a nerd, y'all. But funny enough, I never got into, like, Star Trek or Star Wars. Like, not to say anything about them. It just ain't my thing. Even though all my friends, that was the thing. Like, I think the new Star Wars, like, what was it? Episode 1 with the guy. Oh, gosh, what was his name? Darth Maul. Don't quote me on that. But the one that had the red and black face. Um, that came out when I was in high school, I believe. And that's the only one I've ever seen. Um, Star Trek, I've not really seen much of that. It's kind of funny. But I was really into sci-fi books. Um, you know, stuff like Mech Warrior and, um, what else? I don't know. I... I don't know. I was a weird child. I'm saving that watch. But, um, <laughs> it's just, I, I guess I wasn't into the cool, nerdy stuff. <laughs> I read a lot, and I gravitated toward sci-fi and fantasy stuff, mostly. Read The Hobbit. I guess that's a more popular one. I was more into, like, Piers Anthony and space operas and things like that which I still enjoy now but I also really like historical um, mysteries Myst yeah 
historical like murder mysteries I guess I don't know Lord have mercy <laughs> I don't know why I got on that tangent that's kind of where my brain goes it goes to like the sci-fi of the 80s and 90s oh and I used to really like to watch um, shoot it was huge um, like Hercules and Xena y'all remember those <laughs> I'm at that point in my life now like a couple of the girls at work they're in their 20s and I talk about stuff and like <laughs> they've never heard of it and it just astounds me like they've never heard of Xena they've never heard of Zorro they've never heard of Hercules I am like how like Babylon 5 oh Stargate love Stargate but y'all know it's just that type of stuff's funny that's a tangent. We'll just we'll just leave that behind. How about that? <laughs> we'll just <laughs> This is why I do voiceovers, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're making good progress though. I'm about to get to a stopping point though, because I don't want this to go longer than 30 minutes. Just for y'all's sakes and mine. So um I'm keeping these nuts here. <laughs> I love it when I can just rip it. That's so much quicker. But if y'all would like to see more of me going through these, let me know. Um, I know my my harvest videos have been going surprisingly well, and the retention is very good. So it's almost up there with like my shorter page videos. So I really appreciate that. So thank y'all so much for that. I'm listening to me babbling going on, we gonna we gonna save them radishes there. Oh, got to save this. It says for being a cat person. Um, also, thank y'all. Um, I'm at 600 on here. Lord have mercy. I honestly never thought I'd get above 50. I was at about 50, 55 for, gosh, probably the first six, eight months on this channel. I, I think I uploaded my first video going on... Um, about a year ago yeah it was I want to think it was in May of 2018 so and just here lately I think I kind of got in a groove with my editing and figured out what editing style I wanted and stuff and um, it's been growing steady so I really appreciate that and what is that that looks amazing Roman style pizza with potato and rosemary. I don't want whatever this stuff is though. Oh wait, unless that's mashed potatoes. Is that mashed potatoes on a pizza? Yeah, I reckon it look it looks like scallop potatoes and mashed potatoes. Well I'm I almost wanna try that. I think I'm gonna keep that. Some I go through phases with food pictures, y'all. I go through phases ooh, ooh, grandma pie. With pepperoni and pink sauce. Ooh, no, I want this one. Yep. Yep. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to have to go get me something to eat after this. <laughs> but, yeah, I've just, I really appreciated that. I just started this channel kind of on a whim. Um, I used to put my art videos up with all my videos on my other channel. And, you know, I kept getting the comments that people just wanted the art videos and I just love having a place to just have them here and yeah it's been working great so I really appreciate that I appreciate all the comments y'all leave I love when y'all send me um, pictures of pages you've done which they are amazing y'all y'all making me I gotta up my game <laughs> but um, you can email me or um, Send through DM on Instagram. I'm Jen with the cats. Um, also, uh, hashtag art therapy with Jen. I'll see. So, that is just awesome sauce. Or if you have a video, like, link me to it. That would be great. I'm just, it's so fun. I'm just, I'm having fun. This is, this is my happy place in my life right now, y'all. That's why I call this art therapy with Jen because truth be told, if I didn't have this stuff, whew, let, let's just not even think about that, y'all. So, 
and I hear from a lot of y'all, this type of stuff brings y'all some solace in your life as well. So I think that is great. Oh, I like this going on. Because, I mean, that at the end of the day, it's not about who has the fancier supplies. Which, I mean, I like. I use a lot of cheap stuff, but some of the fancy stuff I like too, don't get me wrong. Like, if I was rich and budget was not a thing, honey, I would have the Cadillac of everything. Because, <laughs> like I said, I'm a nerd. And uh, nerds are notorious for um, getting obsessed with things and um, wanting to learn and do everything. So, But you can do it just fine with magazine scissors and glue. I mean, shoot, you don't even really need scissors. If you can rip paper pretty good, don't even really need it. I like these here cubes. I don't know why, but I like them. So... Okay, I love this lone little tree out here. That's, I'm loving it. Oh, oh, don't rip the tree. Oh, have better ripping skills than me, though. <laughs> kind of funny. Paper rips really easy in one direction, but not in others. Let's see what, what my time at. Okay, we're getting there. But, yeah, I really do appreciate that. And I, I just, I love hearing also what y'all use art for. You know, um, whether it's to break up, you know, any of the mundane things. Or like me, it's kind of my version of, you know, ost ostriches that bury their head in the sand. This is my sand, but it's a lot more colorful and there's more glue. <laughs> so I'm going to say this. If walls could talk. Man, do I have a lot of words in here. Shoot fire. A lot of words, not too many people. So... There's a ton in here. I thought I was going to get through this in 30 minutes. Y'all, I ain't even made a dent. So, like I say, if this is something y'all want to see, let me know. Because I got I got material for ages right here. I want this here mint julep. Not for, well, good enough. Not for real, though, because I, don't, I ain't too big on gin. I ain't too big on drinking, period. I think you get that out of your system. About the time you're like 20 years old. That's a whole nother story, whole nother day, though. So, I ask y'all another question. So, what type of... I'm going to save those flowers. What type of um, art do you like to do the most? Do you like to use paint? Do you like to use just purely magazine? Um, I really like that. Could that go in my art or my witchy journal? Nah, it ain't giving me that vibe. Um, but, okay. Um, do you like to use stamps, ink, ephemera? Are you a purely a, a junk journaler where you just go completely off the rails and you use junk mail and just whatever you can get your hands on and upcycle everything or do you like using I really like that that's neat do you like using um, like thicker materials and all that what's it say why do you go away so that you can come back so that you can see the place you come from with new eyes and extra colors well, I kind of like that I'll just take that I'm not really seeing anything besides that one that I'm just like, ooh, got to do a page. So, ooh, I like these flowers, though. I actually have where I harvested these film, but they're on my computer. That's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> y'all are getting to see them now. I don't know, maybe my files can be recovered, but I'm just going to plan on not. And I mean... <sighs> Oh shoot, I didn't, I might can still use them, but I, is it annoying? Yes, but nobody died and it's fixable, so it's whatever. <laughs> you just have to be that way because I mean, I got so many things in my life right now to be frustrated about and just that suck right now. I mean, not, I don't want no pity party or nothing like that. I'm good. You know, you girls got crap under control. 
because that's what life is, right? But um, that, I mean, I've had, since I've been on YouTube, I've had four computers die. So <laughs> I just expect it at this point. Oh my gosh. The first time I tried to do a live stream on my other channel, um, it completely died. <laughs> like, it fried my other computer, and I was like, shoot. So, I like this. I used to care too much about what others think, and now I don't give a hoot. Well, me neither, buddy. That's one thing, the older I get, the less I give a hoot. Even when people tell me I need to give a hoot, I still don't give one. Oh, this I love. With the mac macaroons, I say that just to get on the up uppity people's nerves. Because they're like, it is macaron. It is not macaroon. Love it. I like these. I want to keep these jewels, but I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm too lazy to cut them out right now. So I'm just going to tear around them and put them in my objects and embellishment folder. <laughs> Same with this one. This is really cute with the bonbons. Love. Okay. So, I'm going to use the bonbons for a background and that for an object. Because we are running low on time. Let's see if I rip this, how she's framed there. Because this, I was getting kind of cyberpunky vibes, but I'm not sure about the framing. Oh no, this paper quality is horrendous. No thanks. Um, what are we at? Alright, I'm going to wrap it up. It's going to be 35 minutes, y'all. Just I was getting in a groove, and we'll just go with it. Those y'all that are still watching at this point, though, are <laughs> amazing. Ah, oh, this is from Cosmo. Man, their paper quality has gone to, gone to poop. I mean, I'm sure they're sitting around and thinking, man, I gotta make thicker paper for these people doing magazine collage art journal pages, you know. <laughs> um, I think I wanted this one. Tradition is a tricky word. But we'll keep that. Oh, she is cool. We're going to keep her. She's not really giving me witchy vibes, so I'll keep her for another one. It's weird to be the fat kid that kids want to be, want to know and befriend. Same girl, same. Although now I'm not the only one in groups. <laughs> Used to be, I was the only fat kid anywhere I went, so now I got, now I got sisters and brethren. <laughs> love it. Come join with me. Let's see. I want against gravity. And we'll do with gravity too, because why not? It's right there. It's easy to cut. Well, nope, I ripped it. So we're just <laughs> we're just going to do against um, dancing with gravity. Nah. Nah. We'll do energy boost. Alright, I swear I'm going to quit in a minute, y'all, and let y'all go, but I got I got my groove back. It's not Stella, it's Jen's getting her groove. Oh, and I love these little things. This looks like healthy ramen. I know it can't be ramen, because this is from Yoga Magazine, but I do like the textured bowl of soup there. That's pretty neat. I'm going to say Pyramid Roar. Alright, after this one I'll quit, I promise, and then I will, I'll show you how I file them away now. I use different containers than my original video, um, but mostly the same. So, first off, since this is my stopping point, Lord, I got a ton. I hope y'all like these videos, because I could probably do 20 dang videos of this kind out of this. I have got to get better about this. I mean, I have a whole stack of magazines. Well, y'all can't see that. A whole stack of magazines, like, huge that I haven't even ripped up. I mean, I gotta get on this. I got other stupid crap that takes up my time. But, yeah, hold on. Let me run and, um, let me grab my 
little things. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be back. All right. So I actually use these things now. I reckon I seen these. Now I don't use them the same way as she does, but I seen these on oh, what's her channel name? I think it was Shannon Green on about two years ago or something. And these are these little zipper things. If I remember, I'll put an Amazon link below. That's where I got all these from. And some of these I like better than others. Like these are the bomb and they have labels. So I'll tr if they still offer those, I'll try to find them. But I put my stuff in these. Because like I said, I pull them out and I go through them anyway. Oh, except for my words. Hold on. Let me grab my words. Okay, except for words. Words is in a tub because um, I did have them in a zip-up thing and I felt like I couldn't dig through them like I wanted because words is one I don't really want to dump them all out and then have to find all these little pieces of paper. So now I have words and I can just dig through here to my heart's content. So those are put up people with BG's background so got those there and I love these because all my collage crap fits like tons and tons of images fits in like two inches it's great so animals lord that's unzipped oops I'm going to put this cat in there. I'm going to keep that dog out over there. This one. Because I think whatever page I do next, I want to use him. Like, he's my buddy. I'm already attached to him. Got large background. Let's see. That's object. Object. Small. 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 Hmm. Small, mm, not sure, small, medium, medium, small, small, object, object, mm, maybe, maybe, smaller, smaller, <laughs> sorry, I do all this because I, certain journals are different sizes, so I don't want to have to fool with all the larger images if I'm working in a like half size journal so does that make sense so that's one I, I kind of and honestly I'm thinking about in the future not even having like people separate or background separate literally just having it like three categories and being like small medium and large because at the end of the day I've found that is the most important thing uh, when I'm working in a particular journal. Oh, these are my objects. When I'm working in a particular journal, the size. Because all my journals are different sizes. Uh, these are ones from a project I'm working on. Project specific. Project specific. I don't know. Ah, they're smaller BGs. Okay. Yeah, I keep stuff project specific too, and I need to go back through those because I'll pull out all these images and I won't end up using all of them, and they'll get put there. I don't have any people cut out. Well, I have these two, but they're going to go in a separate folder that's just for my witchy stuff. We, oh, there's a small one. Shoot. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. A little bit. There we go. <laughs> but that's kind of how my brain works. I think that's the most important thing. Like, what's this for? No, that's just for random projects. But I think that's the most important thing is just figuring how your brain works. That's miscellaneous. So my witchy one must be up there. So I'll put those two in that here in a minute. But, yeah. So that's the video today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank y'all so much for watching. I know this is a long one, but last minute, <laughs> I wanted to throw this together. And like I said, I'm just, I'm just so down and just 
feeling crappy that I, I'm, I haven't got the creativity for a page yet, although, like I said, the dog's giving me life there. Um, and this is just something wonderful to do. It's just like mindless and repetitive, but still you're accomplishing something, so it's great. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Um, don't forget to leave a like below. Um, if you want to see when I upload, don't forget to subscribe, or if you want to, turn on your notifications. Thank you all so much, uh, and I will see you all next week. Bye, guys.